Hello, it's me, and today I'll be showing you even more of my custom Godzilla, mostly Godzilla and Kong figures. That, so these are ones which some I have done videos on, some I haven't. So the some of the, most of them are ones that I've just sort of been doing just for fun as just little projects, sort of just around whenever I can. So these are just little ones that I've been doing. But yeah, I'll start off with some of my some of the smaller ones that I've done. So things like this is my custom painted Burning Godzilla 1995 from I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's like a set of eight little Godzillas that I just bought on eBay. So with this I just I painted over all the horrible paint that was already on there, painted a plain sort of dark orange and just gradually painted lighter and lighter oranges onto the top to get the nice glowing effect. Painted red onto the dorsal plates and white onto all the little ones there which I just put the brush sideways and went over the top so it did it really nicely. Painted it inside his mouth as well, if you can see it, a very dark red very yellow, very yellowy white for his teeth and claws but I'm very pleased with this little burning Godzilla then I've got another, this is my custom um, Godzilla Aftershock Godzilla 2014 from the easy fun set of 10 Godzillas so basically I just cut all the dorsal plates off and stuck fire pieces on, Lego fire pieces that I cut up and painted blue. It didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it, so it was like when he, you have him in this sort of pose shooting his, because the do his dorsal plates are cracked, he like shoots fire up into the air through his dorsal plates. A bit like Shin Godzilla, but more fire instead of lasers. But it just sort of looks like sort of custom dorsal plates and more than fire, which I actually quite like and I got quite a nice type of blue. Body's just a plain black. I used different shades of light blue, did a bit on the chest, gills, legs, and back. The eyes I just did yellow, in the mouth, uh, dark, reddy pink, with slightly yellowy white for the teeth. And that's, I also, with the legs, I cut them and sculpted so he's in sort of a more dynamic pose instead of just standing upright. Then I've got my even more modified Burning Godzilla 1995 from the Easy Fun set of 10 Godzillas. I can't remember if I had this one in my last one. I think in the last one I only painted the spikes, his dorsal plates, but now I've painted different burning patches. So I did the same with the little one, just painting a dark orange and going slightly lighter. I did this one before this one, so this is like my upgraded version, which I like the colours on this one more than this one. But it's sort of the same, just a plain... I think it's it's just a plain yellow with the slightest bit of white for the fingers. Teeth white, haven't done anything in the mouth. Yeah, I added a joint in there, and now it looks like <laughs> Shin Godzilla. Didn't really turn out how I wanted it. Most of the time is just going to sort of be like that. But I also painted white down the sides on his tail, like with the monster arch, which I prefer to just all of them being red, which I really don't like. But I also added joints into his arms with wire and his knees with wire and also his tail. But I'm not very... I did ask the next one, which is the my custom... Godzilla 2000 from the Easy Fun Set of 10 Godzillas. I changed the wire to ball joint, so now it's even better. His arm does fall off a bit, and I'm gonna try and make that stick in better. But I, what I'm gonna do with this one is change them to ball joints as well, I think is what I'm gonna do. But I'm very pleased with this one. And then with this one, I added joints. The mouth is much better on this one. I might redo the eyes again on this guy because the if I can get it to focus because this one didn't turn out very well I think that one that one turned out nicely but that one didn't really it leaks over the top a bit 
that I just used. It's quite a lot of different colours that I mixed to get this green. It was basically an olive green plus, I think, a bit of white, black and just random colours. And dorsal plates, it's really hard to get the right purple, so that isn't really right. I think this should have been darker as well. For the claws, uh, yellowy white, same with the teeth. A mouth, just a dark pink. And I also, taken the legs off. I sculpted around there, you can see a bit flaking off, but that's hidden behind there, a bit of the paint flaking off. I'm going to fix that. Next, I've got another one from the 8 set of Godzilla's 1954, which I just painted. Dark grey, light grey for the toenails, white for the dorsal plates, white eyes, and I left the beam. Just as a little, instead of being a little weird green with yellow claws, I painted him more accurate to the film. So not really much with this guy. These are another two from the eight set of eight with Spitfire, basically, 2014. I might do a couple more shades of blue on his dorsal plates. He's still got his weird jaw, I couldn't really fix that. With the beam, I used glue, blue glass paint. So it's still translucent, but it's blue. It looks okay, but it doesn't, because it's got a couple of thick patches, it doesn't look very good. But all I really did with this guy was just paint the blue on and his eyes as well. And then I've got my custom painted female Muto, which I'm really pleased with. They're my only Muto in my collection. So I painted the egg sac just to plain orange. It leaked over a bit on the leg. The eyes, just a line of orange on both sides, if you can see there. And then I just painted it uh, completely black, so not really much with this guy. Girl, I don't know. With, and I also painted, this one I'm still doing, so this one isn't finished, I'm still customising this one. Uh, it looks really horrible and rough, but I'm going to do lots and lots of layers of that orange and yellow and stuff it really it, it looks really bad at the moment like really quite shocking but it will look better i will i'll do it in my next custom video which might not be for quite a while i don't really know but i'm just painting to look more like the films it did already look accurate but i wanted it to be more accurate so this this one's still in the making Next, I've got, this is a little diorama that I'm working on, which is Godzilla 1962 breaking out of the iceberg, like at the beginning of the film, King Kong versus Godzilla, which I'm very pleased with. So this, sculpted in clay, so I just cut, sort of got a round bit of clay, cut a hole in the middle, cut it with a knife to get all the jaggedness, cast it out in a light blue, I might do another one because this has quite a few bits in. But what I'm then going to do is get a um, box. I still don't really know how to do it. Then we'll have clear resin on the outside like water. And then I'll put fake snow on top of it. But also this guy can come out. He won't be able to once I put the clear resin around it. But I've painted this guy. I've painted his eyes, his skin, his dorsal plates and his mouth. His mouth still doesn't look very good, I can really fix that, it's a bit too small. But it looks good in the iceberg, I think that's a really nice piece that I've made for him. I am probably going to do another cast of it. Then I've got some little accessories which I slightly showed in my last review, which was of the Bandai HG series set of four capsule gamma figures. So I've made, for this one, which I'll show you first, I made the thruster effect for the flying gamma. So I used some clear perspex rods and then covered them with super glue, or you can just build it up with super glue. Then at the bottom, I just made a big flat super glue base, painted it blue and stuck some cotton wool or just wool on the bottom. He doesn't stay on it, unfortunately. He sort of, he, there's no chance of him staying on it, but I think it's quite a nice piece just to have. I might one day make it so it can properly, he can stand in it. And then I've got Gamera's 
fireball effect, which can actually fit in his mouth and will stay. So this, if you watch some of my old custom videos, this here was from the Gypsy Danger rocket arm effect, which I basically just put a ball, a big ball on the end and a spike on there, and now it can. Now I use it as Gamma's fireball effect, which I'm very pleased with. I just use some plain red acrylic and red acrylic inks and super glue, hot glue. So that's a Perspex rod that again we did super glue, um, sort of flame effect spikes with by having it like that, getting the super glue, sticking a bit on there. And when it dripped down, once it dried, I just cut the end off and did that quite a few times all the way around. Next, I've got easy fun set of 10 Godzilla, Shin Godzilla, which I painted the red. It didn't turn out very well because with my other NECA Shin Godzilla, which I'll show you next, I painted the legs completely red, then dabbed, sponged on a, um, black acrylic and didn't. It works well with the NECA, but not with this one because it's a bit too small. But I also painted onto the tail with a bit of yellow, white and light brown. I might go over it again because you can see it's a bit fading, fading a bit. I redid the eyes. They're not very good. I might redo them again. But this is another little, nice little one just to have on the shelf. And like I said, next is my customised NECA Shin Godzilla, which I am very, very pleased with. So what I did with this guy is I super glued the bottom jaw on, took the top of the head off, drilled through it and put wire in so now the top jaw can open. So it looks more like the monster arts instead of the bottom jaw opening, the top jaw opens. Then, like I said, I painted all the body sections red and sponged on black so it has it all in the cracks. I redid the eyes with a circle of white acrylic and then just got a needle and poked on a little bit of black. I haven't done anything in the mouth, really. Painted the teeth, claws and the little face on the end of his tail, which I'm very pleased with. I just put a bit of super glue on and cut it to make the jaw and the eyes. And then I also added two more segments to his tail, so it's much bigger, so now it's more accurate. Next, I've got a customized little Godzilla 2004 with added articulation, painted his eyes, which I'm very, very pleased with, dorsal plates and nails, I added joints in, which I'm very pleased with. So I drilled a hole in, I cut the legs off, drilled a hole in, put ball joints in and super glued them in. So this is, I was gonna add one to the jaw because of where that ball joint is. The jaw is stuck, so you can't really do anything about that. Now I've got another one from that set, which is my customized Godzilla 1956 poster version, which I painted using a picture of the poster and just did greens, neon yellows, browns, reds, white for the teeth. So I'm very pleased. This is a really nice one to have next to my 1954 on my shelf. So I painted that accurate to the poster. Next I've got my, I did even more to this Kiryu, where basically all I did with this guy, I painted the black in all the little crevices on his body. So now you can see them with detail even more. Painted the black in the little bits there and the red on the dot on his forehead. And they also did a bit of black in there. So that was just to bring out the details on this guy a bit more. So not much on this guy, but it does make him look even cooler. Another one, small one which I'm really pleased with is my custom Super Godzilla using more of the set of eight. Godzilla's that I got on eBay, so I sculpted this with epoxy putty and then painted it, which I'm super, super pleased with on this scale. So, yeah, I'm really pleased with this one. I sculpted the shoulders, the chest, and made them out of a thin plastic sheet. Same with the thing on his head and the tail. But I'm very pleased with this one. I was extremely happy once I finished this guy. 
Next, I've got some custom things on my King Necker King Kong, where I've made. So my old one, I showed you a head that I made for him, closed heads. But I've redone it, and now I've got a proper closed head where I'm still painting his eyes. Looks a bit goofy because I'm just doing testing. And then I've also got a growling, which I'm very pleased with. So I moulded the warring one and then cut it apart, stuck them together and painted them. So now I've got these two, which will be really nice to do a stop motion with. And I've also made another head for him when one went wrong. So I made a zombie one, which I'll do in a Halloween stop motion. So you've got like the red, the brains and stuff, which I'm quite pleased with. Then I've got my, as you've seen in my customised video, customised how to customised video, Doppelganger Godzilla from Godzilla and Hell. You can watch that video, so I don't really need to explain anything here, because you can see how I did all of this in the past video. And then I've got custom Neck of Godzilla 1989, where I've completely re-sculpted his face and also painted all of his teeth inside again. I am going to be completely redoing this guy, like Burning Godzilla, which I'm really looking forward to do after this video is done. So it'll be completely Burning Godzilla, which will be really cool. Then I've got, I didn't do anything with Beam, but I will make it like the red spiral way. And then I've got one of my ones, which is another one in the works, my custom Playmates Guy Gan 2004, which added joints to the neck, mouth, and mandibles. So this is one where I cast, made a model of the head, casted one out. Shoulders and elbows, now I have joints in. Knees, ankles and hips. And base of the neck, I'm going to cast out a tail and put wire in it. And also, because this is the cast, this is the original, which I painted like the Death Trigger Gigan. Now I've also got this little Kong axe, which I'm going to be making. This is just a test one with Shin Godzilla axe instead. And finally, this is a gift from one of my cousins, which I'm going to be repainting and also fixing up. A gigantic Kongzilla. Now, don't ask me where to get this. I can't find it on eBay anywhere. This was a gift from my cousin from a random collectible shop, which is like, this is a used figure, which is just incredible. I don't know how expensive it is, where to get it, or how to get it, but it is incredible. And I've been re-sculpting the spikes. They snapped off his teeth and stuff there. But I am really looking forward to painting this guy. But that was it. That's about it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.